hello youtube this is john in this video i'm going to quickly show you how to fix this problem uh no bootable device found and this happens on very many laptops and when the hard disk is not being read by the operating system to always bring this error in some cases to me it be uh it will be no bootable devices or no def no boot device not found to to depend so in my case here, I'm going to restart the computer by clicking Ctrl Alt Delete. Then I'll go ahead and click F10 so that we go to the BIOS system. So when you reach the BIOS system, you shall have some options here. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow keys to navigate. Then I'll go to system configurations. Then I'll click down here. So in our case here, we have two different problems. Our legacy support is disabled. And I want you to go ahead and enable it back. So when you enable that option, uh, you go ahead and click uh, the computer will restart. And then it will bring you to this option whereby operating system. And this is not allowing our boot options. So when you reach this place, because secure boot is enabled, I want you to go ahead and restart the computer again. You can switch it off by long pressing. So, and then you switch it back on. And then you go to switch it back on. Let me pause the video. Let me connect my computer to the cable. So I've connected the computer to the electricity. So I want you to go ahead and click this. Restart. We go to F10. Then to go to F10, we click Escape. Then click F10. So you have to make sure you're using... Uh, you have to plug your computer to the power cable. I'm going to go back to system configuration, then I'll go to this option. Then right now here, I'm going to enable, actually I'm going to disable secure boot. And to do that, I have to clear all secure boot keys. As you can see here, I'm going to click enter. Then to generate a code, so it has generated, it will be different on yours. I'm going to enter 14. 70 then press enter then the secure boot has removed has been removed successfully then you have to go ahead and enable uh legacy boot support then i'm going to go ahead and click f10 and save then this is going to go ahead and load without having any issues and this is going to load our windows files and this is how you solve this issue on how to uh, remove that error for no bootable device found or boot device is not found. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon or that get notified whenever I upload useful videos like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.